Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Numbered headings provide a clear visual hierarchy, making it easy for readers to quickly locate relevant information in your document. In this video, I will show you how to add numbered headings and subheadings in Word. Let's go. To create those numbered headings and subheadings in your document, let's use Word's multi-level list feature. But first, you need to set up your heading styles, as multi-level lists rely on them. Word has built-in heading styles you can choose from on the Home tab. For a more custom look, click the arrow button in the Styles panel and choose Create a Style. Give it a unique name and click Modify to adjust the font, alignment, indentation, and other formatting options. Click OK to save your new heading style. You can repeat these steps to create additional subheading styles with different formatting as needed. With the headings ready, let's create the multi-level list to get those numbers in place. On the Home tab, click the drop-down arrow next to the multi-level list icon and choose Define New Multi-Level List. Expand the configuration window by clicking More to see all the options. To begin, focus on the first level of your headings. Link it to the corresponding style, either a built-in one or the heading you made earlier. Choose a numbering format you like, and adjust the bullet position and alignment until it looks good. You can see your changes in the preview window above to make sure it appears as you expect it. Remember, you need to do this for every level of your headings. If you have subheadings, select the next level, in my case, two, and match it to the right heading style. For the format, Let's try subheadings numbered like 1.1, 1.2, and so on. Enter 0.1 in the formatting box to specify the first value in the increment, and select Level 1 from the Include Level Number From menu. Once you've got all your levels set up, click OK to confirm. Now, when you apply those linked heading styles to your text, they will automatically be numbered according to your custom list. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.